Hello. Hello. And today we're making a video. <laughs> nice. oh. Go ahead, make a video. <laughs> what is that voice? Just do it. What's that voice? Just, just make the video. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk today. I want to talk about um, meltdowns versus burnout, and like, what's the difference? Okay. Right. So. Uh, meltdowns are essentially like from um, an ex, what I've read and kind of my own experiences, they're like an external stimuli kind of thing versus um, a burnout is like an intrinsic uh, experience. More define it better. Like, like uh, okay. So a meltdown is essentially when um, somebody who's autistic gets a uh, like overwhelmed with sensory situation with like sensory or situation they feel very overwhelmed and it routinely results in a um like some kind of like uh expression of feelings so they like can a tan like, like a, a tantrum, tantrum or it will look like a tantrum like what, what you would consider like a someone with anxiety like having a hyper Ventilation, ventilating yeah like thing. that could happen or lashing out uh because of a external stimuli which results in the autistic person feeling overwhelmed in a situation that's a meltdown mm -hmm. so they get like instantly you know it seems like they get instantly upset they move through it pretty quickly routinely i do at least once i have a place I to think, calm down yeah to each its own to each your own yeah i think i've learned over time how to like calm myself calm sure. right and burnout is something different. That's where, where you have a long term. And I think everyone experiences burnout. I just think that like uh, for people on the spectrum, it's a little different of an experience. So I remember in high school, I experienced burnout. Uh, I was in the marching band and we were on a trip to Florida to be in the parade, right? At Orlando. And I experienced burnout and my body like completely shut down. I got sinus, like they diagnosed me with sinusitis and then I got laryngitis and then I got pink eye and then I got something else. Like I had like four or five different ailments. I had to, I've had, to, I had to go to like the emergency uh, care system in like three different places. I was really, really sick. Like my body wasn't having it and I, there was really nothing I could do but rest. So that was, that's an example of um, burnout that I experienced as, as a kid, like as a teenager, uh, very unpleasant. As an adult, I've had it a couple of times in re regards to like my body will just literally like shut down and uh, I have to do a lot of resting and um, taking care of myself so that I can replenish my energy and move forward. Interesting. Yeah. Have you ever had something like that? Um... I I rarely have ever got sick. Uh, so like, I recall um, once actually in college where I experienced something similar than that, like my body, like I was perfectly fine. And then one day my body was just like, you've had enough. And I uh, <laughs> like had to, you know, sleep it off for a couple of days or something like mm. that, you know? Yeah, so like those are kind of the differences. So like um like meltdowns are usually from like a uh, external stimuli, right? You get like triggered by something and it overwhelms your sensory uh emotions and like you it's so overwhelming it re results in some kind of expression. Uh and then burnout is more of an intrinsic experience that results in almost like a shutdown. And that, they can be like for really long periods of time. So it's not like it could just come off away in a day. Like you can have um, burnout last for, you know, I was reading stuff like it could be like a year, two years, oh, people wow. could be in burnout. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. So uh, it's really important to take care of yourself. And so I think something that I do that I've, um, you know, really honed in on, I think we're both really good at this now is doing basic things to take care of ourselves. And it, it's a continuous um, like effort is required to do it, but you know, like eating right, exercising, drinking a lot of water. Those are things that like, I really find important that supports me in providing a more balanced life. And so 
finding healthy habits and working on them consistently is a way that I um, reduce burnout and honestly meltdowns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, I think it's been seldom that I've run myself into the ground like uh, to that degree. Mm -hmm. Probably, um, I think I've always been pretty good at like taking care of myself in terms of uh, eating right and water and uh, enough rest, you know, downtime for sure. So uh, regardless of autism or not, that those things are all They're very good for everyone. Uh, for everyone <laughs> yeah. to really monitor their, their own uh, feelings and how, how their body feels, how, um, you know, the, the ratio to uh, work and rest and, and all of those things that factor into that. So that you're, you know, you're staying ahead of those those things and uh, not, you know, um, you know, going into debt, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, on your health, mentally, physically, all all the things. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you all for listening, and we will see you next time. See ya.